Hi everyone and welcome to our new series Let's Create in which I'm going to teach you how to create activities for your lessons using different types of online platforms in less than five minutes. Are you ready? Let's create! Let's go! So first go to create activity at the top right corner. Now, for today's video, I'm thinking to create something a bit more interesting. So let's go on and create a game show quiz. As you can see, it's very simple. At the top, you are going to put the title of this activity. For this one, we're going to name it Present Simple, Third Person Singular. Right below now, you can add the instructions for this activity. Remember though, this is optional, so you don't really have to do it. Now let's get on with the more interesting stuff. First of all, you need to ask the question. For question, I'm just going to put the verb need and right below, I'm going to add how many different options I would like to have in this game. So I'm going to add a few wrong ones like needed and a correct one like needs, another wrong one like needing and finally a fourth one which is going to be needies, still wrong though. Remember now, to choose the correct one, go to that cross and click again to turn it into a tick. Now that would be the correct answer. Now let's go on and create four more, because you need to remember that we need to create five at least for the activity to be finalized. So I'll let you enjoy creating the rest of the questions. The moment you click done, you're ready to run the activity. But let's have a look at the different settings of this activity. Uh, the one that I usually change is the helping options that we have while playing this game. Uh, there is an extra one called cheat, which is a bit of a game changing one. So you might sometimes want to include it or not, but I'll show you what it does in the video of the game right away. Uh, apart from that, you can change the time limit, you can change when the bonus round will come after two or three turns, which we're all going to see in the video right after. Now just one more thing before we finish this video is that you can actually turn this activity into many other different ones with exactly the same content. Now as you can see here I can turn it into an anagram and many other different ones without actually changing anything. So there is a lot of replayability with just one activity. So this is it. Thank you very much and now let's head back for a quick recap. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please make sure you like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.